Hi everybody, welcome back. Today's feature film review is the movie California Suite, directed by Herbert Ross, and it was released in 1978. Let's check out this great classic, California Suite. <music> California Suite, released in 1978, was directed by Herbert Ross. It stars Jane Fonda, Alan Alda, Maggie Smith, Michael Caine, Walter Matthau, Herb Edelman, Richard Pryor, Bill, Cros Bill Cosby, and Gloria Gifford. A star-studded ensemble comedy based on the popular Broadway production by author Neil Simon. Full of quick one-liners. Neil Simon used four short plays on Broadway, which were combined into a single set piece for the film. It is based on the same plot as Simon's 1968 Broadway hit, Plaza Suite, which was adapted into a film, 1971. The Plaza Suite on the West Coast is known as California Suite. Herbert Ross, known for The Owl and the Pussycat, played again Sam, The Sunshine Boys, has clumsily, clumsily directed it as a middle-class farce, unable to smoothly transition into another narrative. Four group of visitors at the upscale Beverly Hills Hotel who arrive on a pre-Academy Awards weekend and have a personal issues to attend to are at the center of the storyline. California Suite is a fun, fun, magical film. If you like Hollywood glamour and glitz and the great actors of yesteryear, we're talking the late 70s. It features the legendary Alan Alda from MASH. You got Maggie Smith. You got the legendary Jane Fonda, daughter of Henry Fonda, the brother, uh, the sister, brother of uh, Peter Fonda. And then you got the comedic actor of Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby. This is an ensemble cast. And uh, each story is different than the other. But the cast ensemble is absolutely brilliant. It is exquisite. You will love California Suite. I loved it. I loved it. After nine years of divorce, laid-back, sporty-dressed Hollywood screenwriter Bill Warren, played by Alan Alda, and resentful, razor-sharp career woman Hannah Warren, played by Jane Fonda, reconcile and battle tooth and nail with clever jabs over custody of their teenage daughter, played by Dana Plato who fled New York to be with his dad. An eccentric British couple with kinky sexual appetites, bisexual antique dealer Sidney Cochran, played by Michael Caine, and his alcoholic quipster actress wife Diana Barry, played beautifully by Maggie Smith, are staying at the hotel for the upcoming Academy Awards because wifey received an Oscar nomination. Philadelphian Marvin Michael, played by Walter Matthau, attending his brother's son's bar mitzvah, finds it difficult to explain to his much younger spouse, Millie, played by Elaine May, how a floozy blonde prostitute, played by Denise Gallick, ended up in his bed. Additionally, doctors Chauncey Gump, played by Richard Pryor, and Willis Panama, played by Bill Cosby, who are visiting Chai Town, experience a stressful vacation that develops into a string of of catastrophes with the help of their spouses, played by Gloria Gifford and Sheila Fraser. If you haven't seen California Suite, you'll love it, especially for Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby. At first, you don't know what's going to happen when you see them in the movie, but Richard Pryor shines, kind of takes the, steals the movie in this uh, movie. But Richard Pryor, if you're a fan of Richard Pryor, you're going to love his comedic abilities and timing in California Suite. I don't want to spoil it for you, but the storyline with Bill Cosby and Richard Pryor and their wives towards the end is some of the best comedy you will see on film. And it was released in 1978. So for that fact, you have to watch uh, Richard Pryor and All His Glory. He is a, a joy to watch. Lifelike. And I miss him so much. We all miss Richard Pryor, but after watching California Suite again for like the 12th time, you see how good, how genuine of a talent he was, how funny he was, and we all miss Richard Pryor. Of the four couple sketches, two are functional. The film's focal point is Alan Alda and Jane Fonda's tragedy comedy. 
in which they both excel and have the best material, and one-liner. Maggie Smith, though, is hilarious as the actress who drinks excessively, and her bit with Michael Caine is undoubtedly the most heartwarming and humorous. The gloomy Pryor and Cosby slapstick skit was undoubtedly the best, since their confrontational friend routine was rarely humorous, and it hinted at racism when the black doctors started acting like savages. Unfortunately, the low comedy sitcom Bedroom Vignette with Mathau and May appear contrived. Again, there's four stories. Walter Mathau is also brilliant in this film. Uh, he pretty much carries the scenes with his wife in the movie. The wife didn't have that much of a part, but Walter Mathau's facial expression, uh, the blank stares, uh, his one-liners, it's, it's a joy to watch. Walter Matthau, another legend. Also, Alan Alda, very serious, very proper, but very razor, razor uh, tongued with his one liners and comebacks with Jay Fonda. Both of them cannot outdo the other because one had a response for the other. Call and response. But Jay Fonda and Alan Alda were magical together in California Suite. I love California Suite. Not many people did, but when you look back at that film, you look at the quality of the film, the acting and the dialogue, Jane Fonda and Alan Alda were exquisite. There's also a young Dana Plato. This is 1978. So this would probably be uh, the second year of Different Strokes or Different Strokes his first year. I don't know if Different Strokes came out in 77 or 78. Possibly 78. So this is a very young Dana Plato in her first movie, I believe. Uh, and she's on California Suite. She's the daughter of Alan Alda and Jane Fonda. Michael King also, and Maggie Smith, uh, they were a joy to watch. Um, there's some uh, subtleties, but a lot of comedic uh, moments and soft warm moments with Michael King and Maggie Smith that I think you'll love. Again, Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby uh, stole the movie, uh, and Walter Matthau was exceptional. Uh, there, were some, there are some slow moments in the film, but this is a comedy drama, and because of Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby, they make it funny. And I laughed and laughed and rewound. I had to rewind it several times because it was like, wow, what did I just see? This is classic. It is awesome. Overall, it's a bitch fest with character, snipping, having a negative effect, and things never coming together as a whole. Yet dramatist lovers will find amusement in all four of the unrelated stories, despite their unevenness and tendency to dissolve to mush. Out of five stars, I give California Sweet a solid four. Could it be better? Of course. Uh, but what would I change? I would probably change the leading actress with Walter Matthau. Uh, she was good, but I needed a name. I needed more name recognition with Walter Matthau. But Walter Matthau was awesome. But he carried that. Out of the couples, Walter Matthau carried uh, that uh, episode with the, uh, with the married couple. Michael King and Maggie Smith were neck and neck, perfect. Alan Alda and Jane Fonda were neck and neck, just perfect. Bing, Cro Bing Crosby, <laughs> Bill Cosby and Richard Pryor were neck and neck. They were awesome and their wives were spectacular. You want to laugh? Look how life was back in 1978. Look at the glamour and the glitz of Hollywood of 1978. Look at some old footage. Of, look at the cars, the fashion. Look at the... Uh, the, the furniture, uh, the clothing, the fashions, the hairstyles. Look at, look, at, look at it all. 1978 is a time capsule. I think you'll enjoy California Sweet. So out of five stars, I give it a solid four. But it's a good movie. It's a fun movie. I think you'll like it. All right. I'm Tony. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>